These are true stories of warriors and scholars, kings, soldiers, the wise who spread their knowledge across their borders, whether with boats, foot, camels or horses. I relate to you an imagery of a history which seems to be distorted. There's something I was never taught when I was in school I was left with foolish thoughts Thinking Muslims were mere fools I was never taught that the whole world was almost ruled by these so-called fools Hold that thought This I give is the history of Islam Strictly giving the facts Let's flick out a map of a world that you once thought was flat Back 1400 years ago in the Saudi Arabian desert came down from the heavens holy scriptures to a man to convey the message his name was Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam a man made from mercy love wisdom and the truth inspired men and women to deliver this message down to you through Egypt to Morocco right down to Andalus that we now call Spain, I relate, back in the 700s, Europe was in a dark state like men in dungeons, listen to what the BBC historian James Burke said about the stench of London, he said people threw their refuse in the centre of the streets, this means faeces, urine and whatever filth you can think, Europe was miserable, filth was visible, they were drenched in superstitions, they were barbaric, hard-headed but said they were Christians but at the same time but out the same place as we go down the Muslims entered into the south of Spain being a part of Europe this land was the same drowning in shame however after 200 years out came an age known as the golden age in this age compared to London Spain's roads weren't the same London had mud huts, not even one street lamp to boast While Spain was paved with street lights and homes Hundreds of mosques and places to bathe By the way, these aren't just my quotes These are words from James Burke the historian He's your BBC host These are true stories of warriors and scholars Kings, soldiers, the wise who spread their knowledge across their borders Whether with boats, foot, camels or horses I relate to you an imagery of a history which seems to be distorted. Seriously, this place was beautiful and became a place where there was food for all. Whether you were a Jew or a Christian, you were cool. This dry land began to gush with shoots, thus came up luscious fruits, almonds, grapes, bananas and oranges. And in the Arabic language, oranges bought the goal. And what remains next to Spain, the land of the oranges, Portugal. Man, my history teacher was awful. I was taught about myths of all sorts. I thought Muslims were desert men. I thought they were irrelevant. Now I see these so-called desert men brought their intelligence. They taught how to talk eloquent. The Muslims brought their medicines and talks about elements. You want the evidence? Look to our schools in our maths and chemistry Algebra, alkalize, alchemy Now what type of language has al in it? Besides Arabic Now, the Muslims made over 70 libraries Whilst the West never had paper Oh, this is some heavy irony In fact, in this rich and sophisticated society Jews and Christians said The Muslims are a gift who saved us from tyranny Students from Europe would travel to sit at the feet of the Muslim scholars because it was they who had knowledge of medicine, astrology, astronomy, physics and geometry, mechanics, geography, optics, trigonometry, mathematics, chemistry, algebra, psychology, poetry, hydrostatics, navigation and history